The Role of Women in the French Revolution Women played a significant and complex role during the French Revolution. Their societal roles influenced their involvement, the changing political climate, and aspirations for equal rights and citizenship. While the revolution did not lead to full gender equality, it did provide some opportunities for women to participate in public life and advocate for their rights. During the early stages of the revolution, women were active participants in various revolutionary activities. They often marched to Versailles to protest food shortages and economic hardships, demanding the royal family's return to Paris. The October 1789 Women's March on Versailles was crucial in forcing King Louis XVI to accept the move to Paris, making the revolution more accessible to the masses. In 1791, a group of prominent women known as the Society of Revolutionary Republican Women formed to campaign for political and social reforms. They demanded equal rights for women, including voting and participating in politics. Their influence was limited, but they helped raise awareness about gender inequalities and challenged prevailing social norms. Women also played an essential role in political clubs, contributing to debates and discussions. Olympe de Gouges, a notable feminist writer, wrote The Declaration of the Rights of Woman and the Female Citizen in 1791, advocating for gender equality and women's rights. Despite her efforts, her ideas faced resistance, and she was eventually executed during the Reign of Terror. The revolution witnessed significant changes in family and marriage laws. The Civil Constitution of the Clergy, 1790, allowed divorce, giving women autonomy and the right to dissolve unhappy marriages. However, these progressive measures were often short-lived, as the revolution's subsequent phases brought more conservative policies. As the revolution turned more radical, women faced limitations on their political participation. The National Convention, 1792 to 1795, reduced women's political involvement and passed legislation undermining their rights. The Law of 22 Prairial, 1794, even restricted women's presence in political clubs, further diminishing their influence. The end of the revolution saw a return to traditional gender roles. The Napoleonic Code, 1804, established under Napoleon Bonaparte's rule, reaffirmed women's subordination to men limiting their rights and opportunities. It granted husbands significant control over their wives' property and prohibited women from engaging in many professions. Despite the regression in women's rights after the revolution, the French Revolution set a precedent for future feminist movements. It sparked discussions on women's roles and privileges, laying the groundwork for future advocates of gender equality. Women's involvement in the revolution highlighted their political potential, which eventually contributed to the feminist movements of the 19th and 20th centuries. In conclusion, women's participation in the French Revolution was multifaceted, reflecting both progress and setbacks. While they actively engaged in protests and political activities during the early stages, their influence diminished as the revolution took a more radical turn. Despite the limitations imposed after the revolution's end, the events of the French Revolution sparked discussions on women's rights, leaving a lasting impact on the struggle for gender equality in France and beyond.